taking a bearing in winter can be much trickier than in summer. You may be challenged by strong winds, freezing temperatures and snowfall. You will probably be buried under layers of clothing, wearing thick gloves and ski goggles. It's important to practice taking a bearing when wearing all this equipment before you need to use the skill in real conditions. First, get a stable base. By kneeling down and using your thigh as a table, you can place your map on your leg and line your compass up between your navigational points you want to go to. Next, take a guesstimate of the rough direction you want to travel in. In this case, it's about an easterly bearing. The reason for this guesstimate is to eliminate the chance of making an error when you line up your compass. To take a bearing, first line up the base plate, making sure it's lined up in the direction you want to travel, indicated by the direction of travel arrow. You can either use the side of the compass for this, or the printed parallel lines on the compass base plate. With your other hand, turn the compass housing so that the red and black lines line up with the parallel south to north grid lines on your map. These are blue on OS maps and brown on Harvey maps. The key point here is to make sure the north part of the compass housing is lined up with the grid lines that point north on your map. In this case, 86 degrees. If we go back to our guesstimate, which in this case was roughly east, that confirms we have not taken our bearing 180 degrees out. So now, stand up holding the compass flat in the palm of your hand with a direction arrow straight ahead of you. Rotate your whole body so that the floating red needle lines up with the red arrow in the compass housing. The direction you're now going to walk is indicated by the direction of travel arrow, not where the compass needle is pointing. Otherwise, you'll just end up walking north all the time. Once your compass is lined up, look ahead and see if you can find a boulder or a patch of vegetation sticking out of the snow that lines up with your bearing. Don't choose anything that's too far away in case the cloud comes in. Once you've done this, you can relax your grip on the compass, walk to that chosen feature whilst focusing on your footwork. When you get to the feature you're walking to, in this case, an obvious boulder, then reline up your compass once more and repeat the process. To increase efficiency, before I get to my boulder, I'm going to line my compass up in front of me, giving the needle time to settle. That way when I get to my boulder, it's all lined up and I can choose my next feature to walk towards. If you find yourself in a complete whiteout, where there are no visible objects, you will need to walk on the compass bearing by constantly looking down to make sure the red needle is over the printed arrow whilst walking at the same time. This is a very difficult skill to master and must be practiced lots. If you want to learn more about winter navigation, head to the Glenmore Lodge YouTube channel and click to subscribe.